In this program, we're going to build a pretty cool feature, and it's really going to use some powerful Ruby functional programming to solve a pretty complex problem with a single line of code. So right here, this program needs us to solve a lexiographic permutation sequence. So that's really just a big word for saying that uh, you figure out the number of potential sequences available in a set of numbers. So right here they give you an example of the lexiographic permutations of 0, 1, and 2. And it's 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, 2, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0. You also notice how it starts with 0 here in the left-hand side and ends up with it right here. And uh, that's what a lexiographic permutation is. Now, what we need to do is find what is the millionth lexiographic permutation of the digits 0 through 9. So this is going to be a huge number, but uh, I'll show you how we can do this pretty easily. So I'm going to create a new file, and this is Project Euler uh, Problem 24 RB, and we'll open this up. Okay, and let's, uh, we don't even need to create a method or anything. We can do this on a single line. So I'm going to create an array of digits here, starting with zero and going all the way up to nine. And we need to call a special method in Ruby. And this method is permutation, convert it to an array. And then what we need to do is pass in the full value or the full size uh, of the array that we're going to be putting together. So uh, this is going to be 999,999. And once again, I put the underscores for digits in Ruby are passed over. So anytime I'm dealing with large numbers, I like to put those in there. So, uh, so if you're wondering, why are we doing this? Like, why are we calling this? And the reason is because if you look back at our problem, it, it's asking for what is a millionth permutation. So the millionth permutation is going to be the index of the array 999,999. You can't call one million on it because uh, the array starts with an index of zero. So what this is essentially doing is we're giving a set of index or a set of numbers and elements in an array and we're calling the permutation method on this now let's see what this actually does in the irb count uh, console so let's set up an array and say uh, one two three and now we have that let's call permutation on it and see what this gives us Oh, it gives us a numerator. Sorry, I have to print it out. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, we can pass it a block. So I'll say I and uh, puts I and then end it. Okay, there we go. So what this is doing is permutation is giving all of the different ways that you could set this up. So at first it does one, two, three. Then it does one, three, two. Then it does two, one, three. Then it does two, three, one, and goes all the way down the line until it completely reverses it. Now notice how it actually does three, two, one at the end, which means that it's going to give us that lexicographical ordering without us having to do anything at all. So that's all permutation is doing. You pass it an array, it returns an enumerator that you have to iterate over, and it gives you all the potential options for uh, for that array or all the different ways. Essentially, think about it. It gives you all the different ways that you could combine it. So we want to convert this, whatever permutation it returns, it returns that enumerable object. We want to return that uh, convert it to an array and then simply grab the uh, 999,999 uh, value from it and then we want to 
call join on it. So let's see what this is going to give us. So I'm going to say Ruby project Euler uh, 24, I believe. Yes. And see what this returns. This returns two, seven, eight, three, nine, one, five, four, six, zero. And yes, that matches what the solution is. So great job if you did that. Uh, you now have, you now know how to use the permutation method in Ruby, which I think you'll find as you build more complex programs that uh, this is actually a really handy method. There are quite a few times where uh, I want to find all the different options available to me and permutation is a great way of doing it. So nice work if you went through that and we'll go on to the next program.